Welcome everyone to today's video. Today, I am going to be telling you which player your club needs to get during this summer transfer window. AFC Burnmouth, this is the first team. I was thinking they needed a center back, so I went with Craig Dawson from West Ham. He has a lot of experience, he's getting old, he's a really good defender, gets some good fantasy points. He, 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 he's also really good with his head and gets some good header goals. And I think that's one of the biggest things Burnmouth lacks is good defenders in defending. Because we, we can score all day long, but we rarely blow a team away without getting a goal and especially now in the Premier League we're gonna need somebody and with being the youngest average um, age in the Premier League for our team I think we're gonna need some experience considering Gary Cahill just left Dawson would be a good one to fill that void Arsenal I also thought they needed a center back and so I went with a kind of unique one I thought he'd follow Jesus's path and Laporte May I think that would be a good one for Arsenal to get. They really they they can score like I said now with Jesus and Saka and Martinelli. I think they have a great attacking and and goalkeeping. But some of their defenders are pretty rough. Like Tyranny's pretty good and some of them are are decent. But like Ben White is not too good and I think Laporte will be a great replacement. Laporte gets playing time at. Man City but not a lot and with Arsenal he literally start every game and I think Laporte is a pretty good player and could help them just get a few more points each season to get that Champions League spot. Next up is Aston Villa. This one might be a little outside the box but you never know. Now with Steven Gerrard being the manager you could really attract the attention of a lot of players. I went with Adrisa Gay from PSG, I think they needed a center defensive mid to just sum up their whole team because um, they can score, they have good defense, good goalkeeping, and I think Coutinho's a great player added to the squad, a great central player to distribute the balls everywhere, but I think they needed someone to play behind Coutinho because Coutinho's very attacking minded when he goes up, so you need someone to come up and fill his position when he goes attacking and I think that Adrisa Gay would be great he doesn't really play that much on PSG he's really really good he's underrated used to play for Everton only a few seasons ago so I think this would be a really good pickup for Aston Villa he's probably pretty expensive but I think it might be worth the purchase if he's willing to leave all right, somebody I think Brighton needs. I think they need a striker, and that's why I went with Timu Puki. So I think Puki would be a great pick for Brighton because Brighton has the potential to finish Europa League. They're good enough to make it in there or even contend for it. But they just don't have a consistent goal scorer that will guarantee them goals each game. It always comes from a midfielder or somebody like that or Lewis Dunk on a header or something. But Mapoy is good, but he's super inconsistent. And Danny Welbeck's good, but he's getting old. So I think they need somebody to bring in that can guarantee them a goal. And I think Pookie would be the perfect man for the job, considering Norwich just got relegated. And we know what's going to happen with them every season. Up and down. They're not going anywhere. Pookie's just wasting his time over there. And I think it would just be a great pickup for Brighton. He's probably not too expensive. I think I could really improve the squad. Next up is Chelsea. I think this one, I think, would be a very, very, very underrated purchase for Chelsea to get. I think they need a striker considering Werner's a dud. He did do better this season. And Lukaku going on loan. I think they should grab Patrick Schick from after an amazing performance in the Euros and he's just doing really good at Leverkusen. I think that he'd just be a great pickup. They could probably get him for like 60 million, which would be a decent snag. I just think Patrick Schick would be a great player to get this transfer market. He can score goals, he's fast, 
he's got everything you need because Chelsea has everything except kind of similar to Brighton they just need somebody to put that ball in the net every time to guarantee their goals and Chelsea was I mean Lukaku was supposed to be that man we all know what happened to him I think Patrick Schick could be a great buy all right Brentford I also think they needed a, a, a center back I think Brentford need Vestergaard from Leicester Vestergaard was really 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 good on Southampton but then he went to Leicester and kind of just died he's getting a little old but I think he could really 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 bring his career back up again and do amazing if he just gets more consistent playing time and does better and if he goes back up to the standards from when he was on Southampton then he could be an amazing purchase for Brentford because they need good defense they have a good goalie but they let up a lot of goals and I think that Vestigar would be a great person he's big he's strong he's great at defending I think he's a perfect pickup for Brentford if they can afford him next up is Tottenham I think they have an amazing squad obviously Son and Kane they just need to they need to get rid of Emerson Royale like I said in my past video Emerson Royale was in the worst team of the season. They, all they need to do is improve their right back in their Champions League every year, I think. And that's why I chose Juan Basaka from United. I think he has potential, like every player that's on United. But since he's at United, he's just, he, he can't prove himself. On, on Crystal Palace, he was insane. And still on Man United, he's doing pretty good. But he can't prove himself to like the full potential of how good he really is at United just because of the amount of defenders they have and unnecessary players and the staff and the team just going downhill if he needs to get out of there join Tottenham in the Champions League I think that'll be a great purchase next up is Liverpool they don't really need anyone same with City but if I had to choose someone I know this has actually been a transfer rumor for a couple years now but I think they need a center mid considering Milner's getting pretty old and they might need a replacement for Henderson just because he can't be playing every game because he's also getting a little old and just a backup I think Jude Bellingham would be perfect man for the job he's young he's British from Dortmund he's been doing amazing I think he'd be a great purchase for Liverpool and there has been talks for many many years I'm surprised they haven't gotten him yet I don't think they'll get him this transfer market because they already got Nunez and Carvalho but I think they could easily get him next transfer market after he has a little more experience and see if he does another good season but I could definitely see him fitting well into that team uh, I think what Man City needs the most is probably a right back because I just don't think John Stones is doing it for him he's good obviously but I just don't think he's good enough considering they're winning the league and he's getting a trophy I, I that just doesn't sit well in my stomach and I think a perfect man for the job would be Pavard from Bayern Munich got signed after the World Cup from a great performance he always does well at Bayern he doesn't play a lot he plays most games but I feel like at City he could start every game with not a big competition I think he's just really really good he proved himself in the World Cup and he's not just died like a lot of other players he's consistently proving himself and I think he'd be a great pickup for City and fit really well in the Premier League and I think that could just push City to getting even more titles next up is Everton they majorly need a center back I know they got Tarkowski or almost definitely are getting Tarkowski but I think they might need another spare center back or in case that falls through or something like that I think Joe Gomez from Liverpool be an amazing pickup he's underrated he never gets to play he's super super good I know they're rival teams so I doubt it'll happen but if he's feeling a little betrayal I think this might be perfect for Everton and Joe Go Gomez himself because he would start every game he's a world-class player he he literally I feel bad for the guy because he deserves to be on like a top team but he just can't fit into Liverpool's squad because of the depth and he deserves better than just sitting on the bench every game and I think Everton could really use him heading on to Manchester United they need a right back the reason I say that is because I just don't know if they're good enough 
just they they need a lot of help in the defense. And I'm I'm gonna hope Maguire does well. That's why I didn't say center back. I'm hoping he does well next season. So I think the player they need is Hernandez from the France national team and on AC Milan. He's so good. Starts for France every game. I think he starts most, if not every game, for AC Milan. So it might not happen because that might be a big loss for AC Milan. But I think he contributed a lot into them winning the Serie A. And he's just an outstanding player and could really, I feel like he could just really fit and get right in with the team. Especially because, man, you have a lot of French players. And I just think he could do really well there in the Premier League. And I think he'd be an underrated pickup that not many people are talking about and could really improve the squad. All right, Southampton, they, if they don't get somebody like the player I'm saying, they're getting relegated because I think they need someone to score goals. Shay Adams, eh. Armstrong, eh. They, they're, they're just not promising enough. And Broja was really good, but now he was on loan for Chelsea and now he's back at Chelsea. So I think they need Cornet. I think he could definitely leave considering Brent Burnley got relegated. So I think he could definitely not stay at Burnley considering they're in the championship now. And he got 10, 10, 9 goals last season and he didn't even play that much. I think he is an amazing player, very underrated. I think he could really help out the squad and get Southampton to surviving this year and I think he, he's, he's perfect for the job honestly. I think West Ham need a right mid and I think Rashford will do it well following in Lingard's footsteps maybe just joining on loan or a permanent transfer but I think this could be perfect 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 for Rashford to get his career back up there just like Jesse Lingard and Rashford's insane but he just him being at United stops him, and I think being at West Ham could really help West Ham get to the Europa League spot and stay in there, or even Champions League, honestly. And I just don't think he's appreciated enough at Man United, and he'll definitely, definitely do well at West Ham. I think that could be a very, very, very smart pickup for both sides. I think Man U's been wanting to get rid of Rashford, they barely play him. And they could probably get a decent amount of money for him. And getting Rashford on West Ham, that's a dog of a purchase. All right. I think Wolves need a striker. Purely because Jimenez, after the injury, hasn't been the same. Fabio Silva isn't too good. And I think the man they need is Calvert-Lewin from Everton. There's been talks of him leaving since they almost got relegated. And I think Wolves would be a great place to go. I think... They, they, all, they almost always finish top 10 every season. I think Calvert-Lewin needs that. And they have some great midfielders that can send them the ball to get those balls in the net, which Everton doesn't have. They have some good players like Gray, Awobi, but like Allen as their central midfielder just isn't good enough to help Calvert-Lewin get those goals. And I think players like Neves and Moutinho could really help out Calvert-Lewin to maybe even finishing high up in that golden boot what Leicester needs Leicester's been doing I don't know how to talk about Leicester recently they've been doing good and bad but I think they're fine on scoring goals I think their defense is just struggling and that's why I think they need Ake from City former Burmese man R.I.P. Ake I think Ake gets some playing time every now and then at City but I think if he goes to Leicester's, he'll get playing time every single minute just because Evans, Evans is getting pretty old and he's not the same player he used to be. He's not as good anymore and I think Ake would fit perfectly, absolutely perfectly into that Leicester squad and would make them rise back up again and maybe even fight for the Europa League unlike last season where they just lacked defense and... They just, they let in so many goals, and I think Ake could really help them out. He's a very underrated player, and City doesn't appreciate him as much as he deserves. And it makes sense, because he's in a tough squad, but I think Ake should go. 
now Newcastle having a new owner in all of this massive amounts of money they can basically get anyone and i think a great pickup for them would be a striker considering wilson's amazing always gets injured wood was a dud i think they need a promising player that they know will do good and i think martinez from inter would be a great pickup for them just because lukaku's now back at inter he's not going to get as much playing time and I bet you Lukaku will probably make it into a full deal after this season if he enjoys it. I think Martinez is a really, really good player. Starts for the Argentina squad. And I think he'd be willing to join um, an up and rising Newcastle that might be fighting for Europa League and Champions League coming up. And Martinez is a great underrated player that I think deserves to play every single game, which he won't get to enter this season at least. And Newcastle will need someone like him. I could definitely see that happening. All right, we're in a different location now. I had to move out of the sun because the camera overheated. But the next team is Nottingham Forest. I think they need a central midfielder to send the balls up to Johnson and just distribute the ball nicely because I think they're pretty decent in every other position. And that's why I'm going to have to say Curtis Jones on loan from Liverpool will be a great signing i don't think he'd want to stay for like for a few seasons because who doesn't want to be at liverpool but and he does get a little playing time but i think he would be absolutely perfect for the nottingham team and fit very well in there i think it's exactly what nottingham needed he's a great player young player he, he starts in some games for liverpool so he's definitely world class and i think that would be just an super underrated purchase because Cur Curtis Jones definitely needs better than sitting on the bench all the time at Liverpool. Fulham, I think they have a really good midfield attack, a decent defense. The biggest thing they lack is a goalkeeper and I think one of the most underrated goalkeepers in the book is Akinfeev, the Russian goalkeeper. I haven't seen him play much outside of the World Cup but in the World Cup 2018, he was amazing. Made that save with his foot against Spain to win the penalty shootout. He made some outstanding saves. He is crazy good. He is actually so insane and so underrated. And I think he deserves so much credit. And I think he deserves to be in the Premier League. I don't know how long Fulham will last, but I think he will help them last longer. Cause I think a goalkeeper is the missing piece Fulham need to not go up and down every season. Leeds, I think they need a center back. And I think Phil Jones would be a decent pickup. I think they need um, a strong defense because they can score goals. They can score goals all day long, but they also let in goals all the time. I think that they're going to need some good defenders that can help even out the playing field so that they can win without letting any goals in. And I think Phil Jones is decent. He's a decent player. He's, he's had a decent career at Man United. I think he's pretty underrated. And I, I think he's a pretty good player that would be worth Leeds time. Probably could get him for like 15 million. He's experienced. He knows what he's doing. He's had a lot of time in the Premier League. And it could really help this group have the confidence to stay up and help get a few more clean sheets that could get them over the line. And the final team is Crystal Palace. I think they need a center mid, and that's why I think Ross Barkley would be a perfect signing for Crystal Palace. He's on Chelsea right now. He scores goals when he comes on, but he doesn't really play much. I think Crystal Palace are great all around in every way possible but i just think will hughes is great but i think they could do better considering the place they're finishing every season and i think that barkley might be able to make them finish a little bit higher and i would love to see them contending for europa league in the in the following seasons and i think barkley could get them there he's a great central midfielder good at this um Good at feeding balls to the players on the wings. He scores goals a lot, gets assists, good at corners. I just think he's a great all-around player. He doesn't really get any time playing at Chelsea, like maybe a two or three games a season. And I think he deserves better. I think he'd want better. I think both parties would be happy with this purchase. 
All right, so that is one player I think one of your Premier League clubs needs next season. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you'd like to change one of them and who you would add for your club. But that's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Smooth.